Hey guys and welcome to a tutorial in Blender where we're going to be creating the X-Wing from the Star Wars movie. So we've got some reference images here that I got off Google. So those are the blueprints and there's a 3D kind of image. So that will help us with the creation of our object. So I'm going to split up my viewports so that I've got a front and a top and a perspective and also a side view. And then we're going to add in our reference images. I already split up that image in Photoshop. So now we just have to load those in to our viewports and assign them to the correct viewport so that we can see the front, top, sides. And then we'll also have a perspective view as well. So there's our top view. Then we'll add in the opposite side. So you just have to make sure that you have a background image turned on in your display properties for that viewport select the view um, that you want that to apply to, whether it be the top, right, front, etc. And then load in the image that you want to use. So I named them top, front, and side view when I separated them up in Photoshop. Split the screen again and set up our final one in the same way. So we're going to start modeling using our basic cube object. We're going to go over into edit mode and we're going to add a loop cut in the center. And I want to delete half of the cube because we're going to use a mirror modifier. So we only have to mirror one half of our um, X-Wing and the other half will be modeled itself. And so we get like a, a two for one deal with this, which really saves us a lot of time with modeling and also helps us to make sure that our proportions are the same on both sides. So after uh, cutting our cube in half, we had a mirror modifier, turn on clipping so we have no overlapping vertices. And now whatever we do to one side of our cube will automatically be mirrored and replicated on the opposite side. So now we just have to um, center it in our top viewport. So the center of our cube is approximately over the center of our aircraft. And then we'll move it to the front and we're going to start modeling this basically from the front to the rear. So it's going to be a matter of um, selecting edges and dragging them so that the uh, edge profile matches the edge profile of our reference image. So we'll be using the front and the side uh, viewports to help us uh, reference where those lines should be dragged to. So. If you drag something in the front view, you need to also check it then in the top and the side and make sure that they align up. And to help us with the selection of the faces and edges, I'm just going to open up another viewport there. And this one will be a perspective viewport. So that will help us to not just select edges, but also get the 3D view and make sure that everything looks correct and in line with each other. So now we just start to grab edges and extrude and move them to follow the profile of the X-Wing. So focusing mainly to start with on the top view, so we get the correct width, and then also the correct slope to the edge. And then after doing the side view, we'll probably then, um, after doing the uh, top view, we'll probably then go to the side view and focus on the uh, opposite angle. So you gotta make sure that each one of these vertexes or edges is moved 
in the correct place in each one of the viewports so otherwise you'll just get a, um, a, a, a basically a, kind of a 2D image. You, you gotta make sure that you're moving these pixels and edges around in 3D space and not just in one dimension or, or two dimensions, either the top, the side. So having a perspective view helps you to also um, visualize what it is that you're creating um, when you move these edges so you can see the final output So now I'm just going to switch into time-lapse mode and you can watch me basically doing exactly what I just uh, detailed there, selecting edges, dragging them out and matching them to our profile. <laughs> So now we've finished with our basic um, fuselage. Now there is one area which I didn't do, uh, which is the cockpit glass area, which I'm going to focus on doing now. I'm gonna model that as part of the fuselage, but almost a separate piece. So we're gonna keep the faces which are underneath it, and you'll see why later on, because if I decide to use a transparent glass texture on that cockpit area, then I don't wanna be able to see all the way inside my model. So I want to keep that face, which is going to be beneath the glass there. So again, it's just going to be exactly the same procedure of selecting edges, extruding them out, and matching them to the profile of the reference image. So there we have our um, basically finished fuselage and cockpit area. So I hope that you found the first part of this tutorial useful. And in part two, we're going to begin adding in the wings and the engines and those wing tiplets, which are, um, I believe, the laser guns that go on the ends of the X-Wing.